The SAP certification is a standard course offered uh, by an SAP instructor using SAP materials and students will write an SAP uh, designed and administered examination. This uh, certification is given in multiple programs through SAP's Alliance program with universities. Es una certificación que cubre todos los procesos de negocio de una manera muy unificada. It basically gives you a bird's view of all the SAP modules. It truly gives them the opportunity to take a look at what best business practices are. So the certification has been really practical for me. I've been able to see uh, hands-on uh, what you can actually do with the software. Es muy interesante en el sentido de que podemos aprender cómo funciona el software, pero al mismo tiempo, cuáles son las aplicaciones que este software eh, tiene para las empresas. Avoir eu ce, ce cours-là nous a, nous a aidé mais beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup à faire la, maintenant la, avoir une idée générale de tout le processus de, de, du système SAP. Effectivement, ça nous permet d'avoir euh, vraiment une vue globale de tous le, les processus d'affaires euh, dans une entreprise. Je pense que ça leur donne une compréhension plus large de toutes les différentes fonctions différentes fonctions euh, sur ces différentes industries. Si viennent d'une spécialisation verticale, qui est, en ce cas, je ne sais pas, retailing, ou par exemple, ce qui est logistique, ou ce qui est recursos humanos y tú te focalizas en ese específico proceso, entonces lo que de repente más vas a apreciar es el hecho de ver cómo tu área de interés se aplica con SP. Uh, in addition to allowing you the flexibility to not only adapt the majority of the best business practices, but to still configure the system in such a fashion that allows you to do business your way. If you've identified a unique niche or a unique way in, in which you want to be able to do a certain process or a, carry out a certain business process that it still gives you the, the flexibility to do that. We go to the business processes. We saw procurement, material management, inventory management, uh, manufacturing execution. We saw warehouse management, enterprise asset management, and uh, well, sales and distribution, financial accounting, business warehouse, which is uh, whatever you have to do in order to take decisions uh, to support decisions and strategic planning. We are seeing, for example, management accounting and program and pro project and project management and so on. I'm interested because I've seen this software a lot in my previous job as an auditor and I wanted to know more about the actual practical aspect of SAP, what it can do, um, its capabilities it, and its, I guess, sort of it, the power of SAP towards uh, business. What's amazing about the certification that is that it puts, it integrates all the classes that we've done so far. It takes into account um, uh, MRPs, uh, financing, all this stuff that we saw in, in isolation, it really brings it together under the same technical, uh, um, uh, technical system. This actually integrates all we have learned in the MBA. I thought it's a really good, great uh, certification program in the sense that we get to see how all the company business processes in the company are integrated together. It's more like an integrated view. And it's a great way to finish off the MBA, I thought. And after having learned each of these functional elements separately, to see all of them in a process uh, view, uh, which is, and of course, SAP is implemented across so many companies that it's practically done this way uh, in at least uh, most of the major companies, which is, which is really good to understand. Realmente no es para gente de IT, es para gente que quiere implementar procesos de mejora dentro de la empresa. It's very concrete. It, um, uh, starting from a very academic point of view, like it shows you how actually it happens in, in real life. There is no more, uh, if this was the case, this is the case, this is how it's done, and you see the system react to it. The focus is towards the business rather than the software side. I, I really think that they're well prepared uh, for the certification class and I think the certification class because of its breadth of 16 different functional areas within SAP uh, gives them a greater appreciation not only for what SAP is but it gives them a much greater appreciation for the courses that they've taken prior to the certification academy and the value that those courses really gave them in preparation for this. We did the ERP simulation game and we also did a SAP configuration class prior to taking the certification. And I think it's the best thing um, they could ever do because once we get to the classroom, it's not all new to us. The courses that we did before are helping a lot in 
being able to understand what, although this is more details, but the ERP simulation really helped in from a user perspective each of the modules and what is needs to be implemented. So when we went in here, the production, the manufacturing execution, a lot of these transactions uh, we had like hands-on usage experience and also in the configuration helped in understanding some of the configuration elements. When you're going through the certification and you start to discuss in more detail what your MRP type is and your various the ways you can do your material requirements planning, you start to get more of a, aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, okay, okay, I, oh yes, I remember, okay, so that's, okay. And so drawing back and reflecting to that is useful for, uh, yeah, the, the certification becomes more, I don't know, you, you feel like you really are getting to know the system better because you've been hands-on. One of the uh, values of, additional values of the course uh, is really having students understand the breadth of functionality that exists within SAP and not just within SAP but within other ERP systems. It's interesting to see the, the complete spectrum that the system has in terms of functionality. It's, it's almost like they've thought of, of everything. I didn't really think that the, the system was that, that big or, or that involved and beyond just what I thought about as manufacturing uh, materials requirements planning and back order planning and this sort of stuff with uh, you know the accounting support underneath that and behind that um, the plant maintenance and asset management for for doing repairs and maintenance I didn't realize that that was part of the system so it's uh, having no experience with SAP before uh, it is a good overview to give you a, a good idea of really everything that the, the system covers SAP certification, the TERP 10 certification course that we're, that we're teaching here, really is a, when we start taking a look at SAP training, SAP training has three levels. SAP 1 training, level 1 training, which is really kind of an overview of what SAP is. And then they have SAP level 2 training, which is an introduction to the business processes. A general SAP 2 class takes approximately five days to go through in each of the different functional areas. So if we were to take 16 functional areas, we would take 16 weeks to go through the core processes in each of those functional areas. And we're going to take those 16 areas and we're going to do it in 10 days. We're going to do it in 80 hours worth of class time. And so it really is a crash course in going through 16 different level 2 classes in a two-week period of time. As it turns out, it's a, it's a really great certification. It's a very intense certification. You have to really study every day. It's not that easy. Once you see the material in the book and the size of the book and the weight of the book, you will realize that you actually have to spend some time on it. This certification academy uh, is used around the world. Uh, it is used as one of the initial certification academies for incoming consultants uh, for SAP. In addition to that, the average pass rate around the world is about a 75% pass rate, so one in four will fail this course. Uh, we've had an outstanding pass rate at uh, HEC. Uh, we've had a pass rate of 100% at the MBA program, a little bit less than that at the undergraduate program, and I think that lends itself well to the preparation that the students have and the dedication that the students have uh, at HEC with regard to this course. The money was worth all the way when it came to the instructor of the certification. He's, like I've said before, very well prepared. And, um, and, uh, and it's very dynamic. If there is one thing to remember about this is that you have to be entirely committed to this like two weeks. It's very dynamic, fast paced and very intense. Eh, yo creo que el, el, el instructor que tenemos ahora es muy, muy bueno. Uh, the instructor is excellent. Um, he's prepared. He's dynamic. He shows you everything step by step. He's, he's good, you know, and he knows his stuff. Um, as much as he's following a, a scripted plan, when we go back and revise, he's not looking at his notes. He just, you know, he knows exactly what he's talking about. And drawing in other concepts, you know, uh, when you're going through a module and he talks about just like we studied a couple of days ago, there's this and there's that. So in terms of a, a, a more integrated perspective as opposed to just instructing by the manual. So I've been very happy with, uh, with the quality of, of the instruction.